when I first started wrestling, I wasn't sure how fans would take to me. And there was a lot of fear when I started wrestling because I thought it was going to be the same reaction. I thought it was going to be a lot of pointing and laughing at my condition. I was born with cerebral palsy. My particular form affects the right side of my body. It's most noticeable in my right hand, arm, and fingers. I lost my leg when I was eight years old to cancer. I was diagnosed very late in the, in the, in the stages of, of having cancer. And the only way to save my life was to literally cut it off at the source. And that's what they had to do. Uh, so they cut my leg off to, to save my life. And I'm glad they did. I didn't really know I wanted to be a pro wrestler until about 16 years old when I saw Zach Allen because uh, I never really thought I could do it. Uh, and it wasn't until I entered the world of professional wrestling and I tapped into that magic that I ever feel like I fit in anywhere. I'd always loved wrestling, but I just never thought because of my disability it was even possible. Uh, I think anytime you do something that's never been done before, you're going to have doubters, you're going to have haters, and you're going to have disbelievers. When you watch Zach Gowan, you watch Gregory Iron, and you, you can see that passion, you know without a doubt that we love what we're doing. That transcends professional wrestling. Here's the thing, right? We're the handicapped heroes. I'm missing my left leg. Greg has very limited use of his right arm due to cerebral palsy. So what he can't do physically, I can do. And what I can't do physically, he picks up the pieces, right? And for some reason, together, uh, the whole is bigger than, than the sum of the parts, and I can't really explain it. All I know is that when we're up there together and we're wrestling, uh, as a tag team, the reactions are stronger, uh, the connections are deeper when we're together, and I, I think I've found more success as a tag team and more satisfaction and gratification out of wrestling as a tag team with Greg than I ever did with WWE or anything beyond that. We formed a bond. It's, it's not just like a kid looking up to his hero anymore or, you know, this veteran trying to teach a rookie. It's like two guys who realize that as different as they are, they're really a lot alike. And when we go out there in the ring, and, and I think when the fans see our bond, it's something they really can get behind. Like they see that it's not just two guys with a gimmick who are trying to capitalize on their disabilities. It's, it's two guys who like really like care about each other and really are our are, are best friends and, and are going out there and living our dream and through that they they can live their dreams too. Our stories of overcoming seemingly insurmountable odds to live out our dreams. Like, that's just not, oh let's Let's give these guys a polite round of applause because they have handicaps and they're trying real hard. No, that. Yes, I have one leg, but I'm a hell of a professional wrestler and you guys are in for a treat. And that's what's going through my head when I fire up on that second rope. Not hide the fact that I'm disabled. Not, not be embarrassed by my, by my lack of limbs. You know, just to uh, empower myself and to project that onto the people. We're athletic people. We just happen to have the odds against us physically. But that doesn't stop us from doing what we want to do. That's what people get the wrong impression about people with disabilities. They, they, see, they see someone with a disability or they see a handicap symbol and they think weakness. 
I put the handicap symbol on my gear not because I'm weak. I want people to see what I do and look at that logo on my knee pads or on my spandex tights and, and say, that's powerful. You know what I mean? He's embracing something that most people look at and, and, and shy away from. Like they don't even want to like focus on that because it brings a negative feeling. I want people to look at the handicap symbol and, and be empowered by it and, and, and think that anything, as cliche as it is, anything is possible. The response to my wrestling has been overwhelming and at first I really didn't understand why. But what happened was I tapped into something greater than just good guy versus bad guy, bully versus victim, or whatever the story is. I tapped into the human condition because no matter who you are, you're going through something. There are obstacles to overcome. And I'm a physical representation of that. And so I think people like a magnet, like fireflies, they grab onto that universal story. Uh, and I think that's what has, has propelled me in the eyes of the fans for all these years. With me, a uh, 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 personal experience about... Uh, uh, my uh, uncle. Yeah. Her uncle. He's my uncle. And uh, why don't you share with... with uh... Uh, he had CP all of his life. And I helped take care of him up until um, he got lung cancer the last couple of years. And it's just really great to meet these guys. And, and keep inspiring people, it's really great because people think, you know, oh, it's CP, you know, you can't do anything. So it's really awesome. Thank you a lot. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense to you guys. Thank, Thank you for sharing so that. Thank you yeah. very much. Come on. That, it, and, that, and that's what I was talking about when I, it, it's not just wrestling, like good guys versus bad guys or, or telling a story in the ring, like, like we have the ability to connect with people on a real level, man, and with people going through real stuff, you know? Explain who you guys first met. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll say Greg, Greg, explain the story of how you first met Zach. I, I, don't, I don't really know if Zach remembers all the details of the first time we met. It wasn't like you totally brushed me off, but I just felt like, I don't know, like I, I felt like really disappointed, like you didn't, like here's this guy that I looked up to, I felt like he didn't care. Like that stuck with me. And I was like, man, like I, I like I gotta figure this out on my own, I guess. So that was kind of my first interaction with, with Zach Allen was kind of disappointment and wondering, you know, why and uh, I don't know. It, was, it kind of made me think of all those times you hear those analogies like, you know, you never want to meet your heroes because they'll never live up to your expectations. So that was, it left me with a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, I don't remember that, but I don't doubt its validity. And I have no reason to doubt that because that's where I was mentally uh, around that time. I was under the influence of a, a lot of pharmaceuticals, a lot of drinking, a lot of partying. And I was rude to a lot of people. Uh, in fact, I was living with a lot of pain uh, during this time. So a lot of my interactions with other people, uh, I've, I left a very bad taste in other people's mouths. Uh, and, and with Greg, it was no different. So. Around this time, uh, I turned a corner and I, and I started my journey into recovery from drugs and alcohol. Yeah, yeah we could have a good match with anybody, yeah. really, you know? <laughs> well, that's most wrestlers. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think I've learned from Zach to be, to be a better human. Uh, I don't know, like... Um, when I met Zach, and we decided to form this tag team, we could have easily tried to compete with each other. It was one of those things where it's like, we found each other at the perfect time in life where we needed each other. Zach needed me, not just because of like, 
you know, what we do in the ring, like what he can do, I can't do, and vice versa. But like, I think in life, like what Zach has, has conquered, I haven't yet conquered. And I think there's some things that I've gone through that I, I, I can teach Zach. I was ready to quit wrestling. I couldn't find work, I couldn't get paid. It's what I love to do the most, but of all the, the path of destruction led up to that moment would not allow me to break through to the next level to where I needed to be as a wrestler. So I was ready to quit wrestling. Uh, and then Greg somehow came into my life, met me at the right time, and it really breathed life into my career for sure. Uh, I certainly wouldn't be doing what I'm doing and, and have the success that I've achieved in the past, what, four or five years uh, without Gregory Iron in my life, uh, motivating me and inspiring me. Uh, and so that, that, it's, it's, such a, it's such a beautiful story. Greg wouldn't be here wrestling without me. I wouldn't be here wrestling without Greg. can't write stories like ours. It's, it's, it's so organic and everywhere we go, people with disabilities, without disabilities, young and old, they gravitate towards us. They on some level can connect with us. Uh, but today I, I take it one day at a time uh, and I appreciate each and every fan interaction that we have and I appreciate the platform that allows us to share our story which is the best platform in the world, professional wrestling. Fire and fire.